Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to use the brand new Lodge Cook It All. We're just going to throw it up on some charcoal and make an easy camp dish. So y'all stay tuned. <music> So the other day I wanted to do something quick and easy. I uh, had some chicken I already thought out, so I was going to do the couple chicken thighs with my uh, my special uh, homemade mushroom gravy with it. And we decided we'll try out the cook it all right on some charcoal. So let's roll it back a couple days and show you how that went. We got the lodge cook it all out here again. And uh, just put three chicken thighs in there. A little bit of onions. This has been going now for like 30 minutes. I have got like a chimney of charcoal up under this thing. I know it has those little divots there. Maybe those inner ones. I need to keep those. I mean, this is always burned down. And I can't hardly get the daggum chicken to cook. I burned a lot of coals here already. So. I don't know, it's a big piece of iron. I don't know how well suited this is for charcoal cooking. Sure, it would work a lot better on a campfire, but... Man, I can just barely get that cooking, that chicken cooked with a whole chimney of Kingsford. And you know, Kingsford burns pretty hot. Alright, still struggling along. It's just a nice simmer, but... I wanted to kind of brown that chicken. I can't even brown it. I've just put some uh, Royal Oak lump in my charcoal chimney there. Let's go ahead and start that. Out. I did put a couple drops of vegetable oil in there to help that along. But uh, yeah, just struggling, struggling here uh, to keep this pan up to heat. And it's uh, 85, 90 degrees out right now. It's not like it's cold weather. I'm out here with actually no shirt on right now. so. It's not a weather issue, that's for sure. I had the lid on it, um, and it, you know, I was trying to evaporate the moisture, so I took it off and basically to try to brown them, and um, it's like nothing going on. So looks like this is going. We'll try some of that. I guess it'll be more like a real campfire fire. So I don't know, try to learn how to use the uh, lodge cook it all. All right, so put my mushrooms in. I'm gonna go in with a cup of chicken stock. There, it's from better than bouillon stock. Let's see if we can even get that up to a boil. I do have some uh, cowboy going over there, some lump. So let's see if we can even get it up to a boil. So the pan did respond pretty quickly to the cowboy coals. Uh, it really takes a lot of heat to get this thing to do much of anything. Um, you know, now it's so hot, I have to like stand back over here, uh, you know, and you're working over those hot coals to be a little, a little warm. So, but at least we got it up to where it looks like it's going to simmer now. This is where we need it to be so we can thicken up the stock there and finish this little, simple little dish I was trying to do here just with three chicken thighs, a little mushrooms, a little onions, uh, some seasoning, and a little gravy. So I'm not here to tell you or make any judgment on any kind of products, really. Um, I'll, show you, I'll show you just how it went, uh, exactly how it goes down. You can make your own decision whether a product that we use here on the channel is something that you'd like to purchase. And if you would like to purchase it, uh, most of the things that we use are right over on our Amazon store. going to leave you the link right down below in the very first comment. Go check that out. And, and remember, if you don't see it on our Amazon store, just uh, use the search bar at the top and you can purchase anything on Amazon. All right, I'm going in with one dissolved tablespoon of cornstarch. And we're just gonna give that a quick stir. If you could just get it up to temp. I mean, I can't even hardly get this to boil. And this curved bottom, for doing something like this is not really <clears throat> it's not really healthy okay 
All of our coals are out here on the high side, and that's way hotter than it is down there in the middle where all the coals have gone out because there's not enough airflow down in there. So, there you go. We managed to finish the dish. It's going to be delicious. So let's, uh, let's get it on the plate. Yeah, so if you think those uh, ones you're going to put there under the middle are going to do anything, no. All they do is go out. Those, those are look like they did when I put them in there. So there's not enough openings under there to keep enough airflow to keep them in the center going. So only thing you have for a heat source, if you're going to use it right on the ground or right on your table like we did, is the ones around the edges. So you're going to have to elevate this uh, the lodge cook it all above the above the table. It's not going to work on Dutch oven table just or a rock or whatever else you're using unlike a dutch oven will just not gonna happen. so yeah that's how it went um i guess there's a reason why on the pictures on this box you don't see the cook it all with charcoal so if you like what we're doing please hit that like button visit our amazon store you can subscribe to the channel right here to see another great backwards gourmet video it's going to be right there and for a whole playlist of cooking with the lodge cook it all going to be right up there we'll see you next time Big piece of iron. I, I said it plenty of times in the video.